Ready? Shush. Chilly sit. Right, so I'm here to do a little bit more hunting. And our main emphasis at the moment is I'm trying to encourage her to use her nose rather than her eyes. And that's gonna be through putting scent onto the leaf litter. I want to teach her to be in and around me because I'm always looking to try and entertain my dog. Okay, I want to have that interaction. I want the dog to please me. I want the dog to want to please me. Most of the novice mistakes are where people give the dog too much freedom at the beginning. And to be able to keep the dog focused, you obviously have to go through various parts first. I you must be able to have a very basic retrieval, getting the dog out to a retrieve and back in some sort of neat fashion. So you can't really teach your dog to hunt for something until that's in place. So when I'm working with a lot of my online clients at the beginning, my main obsession is to try and establish a good retrieve. And in about 70% of cases, that's achievable to a standard where it's then usable in, for example, a drill like this. I want to sort of kickstart my dog's natural instinct to try and use her nose, to try and find, uh, to find a thing, to return with it. Um, today I'm going to be using some of my special um, custom dummies that I have made. These are designed to be super light, uh, small, fun for the dog to pick. You'll never find a dog that will generally turn its nose up at a bit of rabbit skin, okay? Um, and these are the custom ones that I have made for me. If you're interested, just drop me a, a message in, in my DMs, maybe on my Facebook page, and I can help you out with these. These are really, really good. I uh, had these designed especially just for my use because um, I just felt I couldn't find what I really wanted. So I've got these now. So I'm going to be using one to teach her to hunt for it. Um, I might be using another one to scrape across the ground when she doesn't see to try and engage her on that spot. You'll hear me using my hunt whistle a lot. Okay, so every time my, my dog is about to pick, she, she can see a wag their tail then. Um, every time the dog's about to pick that retrieve or on a bit of scent, you'll hear me do that hunt whistle. It's not like that forever, but in the early stages, it helps to make the dog engage between just, uh, sorry, scenting something, hearing that sound, and about to pick a retrieve. Um, so I'm gonna walk over here and I'm hopefully gonna hunt towards the camera a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. Right, come on, Chili, let's go. Okay, so I've chosen this piece of ground here because there's a bit of broken ground, there's plenty of leaf litter, and it's fun for uh, the dog to be engaged in it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go a little bit further here. I'm gonna turn her around, Chili, Chili, sit. So I'm gonna be using one retrieve to throw sometimes and another one to do what I call a swipe. Um, I keep the swipe one in my pocket um, and the other one is gonna be uh, the one that I'm gonna put down on the ground. So I'm gonna take the lead off. Good girl, Chili, sit. I've had, this is actually a client's dog. I've been working with it for about five days now. Um, she's um, a really, really nice bitch, very keen to please. Um, and I think uh, I have high hopes for my client uh, with, with this dog. It's, um, she's a really nice thing. Right, so I'm going to get her going initially through a hump whistle. Sit. So again, I'm going to pick up some leaf litter like I did previously. I'm going to rub that onto the retrieve. I'm very obviously going to be chucking that leaf litter down because I want her to mark it going on the ground. And then she's obviously going to pick up that, uh, that smell. Chili, sit. Always been very careful to not let the dog see me handling it, the retrieve. See, she's hunting that scent there at the moment because she knows it's there and she can smell it. She didn't see me put that down there. Good girl. Ah, 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 ah. Good girl. Good girl, sit. Good girl, sit. Very carefully going to take that off her. Well done. Good girl. So sometimes I'll rub it and when she's not looking, I'll drop it down and then suddenly she's like, oh, I found it. If you just put it down straight away, often the dog will just find it too quick, which then doesn't uh, encourage the dog to actually hunt. So I'm going to walk her forwards, heel, heel, good girl, heel, sit. I'm going to pick up some leaf litter again, walk away, I'm going to let her obviously see it go down, and then I'm going to hunt at sit, hunt her onto it. Ready, Chili? Good girl. Good girl, good girl, good girl. So just put that down there without her seeing. Good girl. Good girl, sit. Good girl, well done. Dead. Good girl. So something else you can do is you can chuck the retrieve down on the ground like that and also give it a little bit of a kick round, obviously. Then pick it up, sit, chilly. 
I'm going to pick that up in my hand now and then I'm going to cast her on to where that dummy had been. Ready? So she knows that's there, or it was there. Good girl. So I just chuck that down to the right. She didn't see me do it. Let her come round on the scent. Good girl, good girly. Good girl, sit. Good girl, sit. Good girl. Right, I'm just going to give her a really simple retrieve now, but a scene retrieve, just because I want to mix things up a little bit. So I'm going to just chuck this down here. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Look, it's very, very simple, but I just want her to have that retrieve. Good girl. Good girl. Sit. Dead. Okay, sit. Ah, 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 here. Sit. Good girl. So I'm going to put it down again. Same spot. But now I'm going to give her a distraction. Heel. Heel. Sit. So I'm going to put this one down on the ground there. Let her see that get kicked around. I'm going to hunt onto it for a little bit, stop her, and then send her back for the other retrieve. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I'm going to just stop. Sit. Good girl. Right. Good girl. Well done. Clever girl. Clever girl. Sit. Sit. Dead. Thank you. Good girl. Sit. I'm going to put it out again. Same spot. Leave that. Chilly. 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 Good. Okay, so sit. That's a prime example because I didn't now put a bit of scent down for her and she's fixated on that retrieve back there. She didn't want to hunt. And that's a prime example of then not throwing some scent down to redirect her from what she wants to go get. So I'm going to chuck that one down on the ground. Sit. Sit. Kick it about a bit. Sit. And chuck some leaf litter again. Very obviously. And then hunt her onto it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, is he? Where is he? See, so when I do that, she wants to come and get the uh, the scent that I've put on the ground. So I'm going to try and stop her again. Good girl. Right. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Here. Good girlie. Sit. Good girl. Well done. Sit. Okay. Right. So put that away. I'm gonna kick uh, kick this uh, rabbit skin around again. Sit. She's she's only a she's only a youngster. There's lots of bits that need working on yet. But at the moment, I'm just interested in trying to get her hunting, having a good time, finding retrieves at my hands, pipping her to my hand. That enforces her wanting to come to me because every time she comes to me, she either finds a retrieve or smells a retrieve. See, she's going lovely there. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. See, she didn't see me do that. Good girl, well done. Uh, uh, actually, she likes to go around the back of me a little bit, so I'm having to control that so she keeps coming at me straight. So there's only two positions for a dog for me. It's either facing me like now, or by my side at heel pointing in the direction I want to go. So it's either a straight send, or she's delivering uh, a, a retrieve straight on, which also then goes into back retrieves left and right. Okay, I'm gonna hunt her onto that scent again. See where she's a novice dog there, if I don't put something down at the moment, she starts looking at me. So that's lazy on my part, but that's a prime example of how much effort you put into the drill that you're doing about what you get out. So at this stage now, because she still doesn't really know what she's doing, she needs to see something happen or sense something. Otherwise she starts looking at me and that's obviously a trait I don't want to encourage. The other thing is she goes around me quite a lot, but that will go later. There you go, round the back of me again. Good girl. I'm gonna do the hunt whistle. She's just gotta get the right side of the wind of this. Good girl! Good girl, good girl. Sit. Dead. Dead. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Chilly, sit, sit. So over a bit of time, I'll be able to start making a hunt for longer before she finds stuff. 
and that will make her give her the enthusiasm to keep going. At the moment, she goes really, really well when she knows there's something there, but she can very quickly uh, give up. So it's down to me to make sure I keep putting scent down on the ground to interact with her to get her coming to me. I need to keep the session super short, engage her, lots of retrieves. Main thing is not getting caught handling in that retrieve, which is super, super important. If I get caught handling that retrieve, she'll start looking at me. A bit like back there where I didn't put something down, immediately she knew there wasn't something there, she started looking at me and I want to discourage that. It's really easy to keep helping the dog or keep looking at it and I want to avoid that. I, I want her to spatially aware, be sorry, I want her to be spatially aware in, in and around me and be trying to hunt, uh, hunt for things to find things. And if I can keep her within this close parameter that you're seeing now, I'm at my optimum safety position. So whether you end up wanting to shoot with your dog or not, or it's a domestic pet, don't underestimate the importance of drill work to keep the dog happy in, in and around you. You see how quickly and busy she is. If we didn't cultivate that, she'd just be busy in a straight line away from you. And that's ultimately how people always end up losing their dogs. So it's about teaching and educating your dog, entertaining it, stimulating its mind and having fun. Anyway, I uh, hope this has been some use to you. Don't forget, uh, forget to follow me on Facebook. If you want some help with online training and want some support, contact me on the Facebook, uh, drop me a DM and I'll do my best to help you. Cheers, guys.